Hi everyone, my name is Jitu. So today we are going to learn some few points of uh, Power Automate. So as you can see my screen, first we will learn how to open URL in using Power Automate. Second, how to create a variable in Power Automate. And third, how to type text any text box. Next, we will see how to select option from drop down using a Power Automate. Next, click how to click on UI element using Power Automate. And final, we will see how to get text from UI element using power automate let's start with this video power automation here i open power automate desktop i'll go here and create a new workflow new flow for create name of create see Workflow is created. Click on that. Here, inside, all action are here. So, like variable, credentials, loops, wait, everything is here. So, what, what we do, where automation, okay. So, click here, this arrow, and here you can see here, launch new Chrome. So, we select it, drag and drop this activity over here, okay. Now, here I want URL, okay. So, so this is the our URL. So we copy this URL and paste it. Paste here. Okay. Uh, now a window state you want like a normal maximize or minimized. So I want maximize. Okay. So I select it and click on save. Now you can test. Now you can test uh, our web page is open or not. Yeah, now is open successfully. This is the drop drop down button. So how I handle? Let's see. Okay, so go power automate. And here, search drop down under this activity web automation only. Okay, so here drop down, right drop down. Okay, this is the web automation under this drop down. Okay, so we left. Okay, so for that, we want UI element. Okay, so click on this arrow, add new UI element. I want second control and left click. So you here you can see this is the our UI element. Okay, click on done. Here operations. So I want the uh, select option by name like uh, our variable. So click on this our variable. So I have not created a variable. So first of all, I have created a variable. Okay. So let's save it. Okay. Yeah. This is so ignore it. Don't worry. First of all, we create a variable. 
click uh, okay variables under this variables this section uh, so click uh, drag and drop this activity over here okay and here i want a birth month okay so here i want to give the month name like december and save so i want another variable also so again i'm taking this activity i want another variable so again i take this activity okay now name is i give birth date okay here i give the date like uh, 20 okay now click on save okay now here so i go to add it and i want uh, my variable here so i select this variable okay now click on save now again i take one more action that what is this is what uh, here another drop down so for that i take one more action drop okay under this tab automation drag and drop this action here okay, so what we would do you only add a new element click on this press control and left click okay, now so your element is again i want to uh, use my variable so click select option by name here variable click on save okay um, now so first of all i have proposed this chrome test yes. blue open first drop down is done and second also done back on our flow here so action has performed Okay, now we handle this this box this uh, this uh, type text box so i handle this now so for that uh, first of all i take populate see here under this activity under bab automation okay so in this activity we draw and drop here and okay ui element click on this arrow and add a new ui element okay so click okay control and left click now you can see ui element is captured and done here our ui element is captured so here uh, select a variable so i want to uh, use my variable also that i have created so click on this now, now i want here use my variable so i have select this variable click double click on that and save okay now it's done Okay, so let's test it. 
Yes. Okay. Now you can see our birth month and birth date. And I want to click on this button. So another action I have to take, which like click, simply click, nothing else. So in this web automation, click on web page. Okay, so this action we take and draw, drag and drop over here, like here. Okay, so give the new element so add a new element and set it over here like this control and left click okay now you can see here our ui element is captured click on done click on save also all stuff okay or and after this, I want little bit. So, wait. Okay. Mm, I want only two second bit. Save. Yes. Okay. Now, new URL is open. Click. Type and okay, so here uh, and say I want this 21 years, six months, and eight days. Okay, so for that, we I use so for that, I use another activity like get get uh, data. I use get details. I take this activity web details of UI element. So I take this action get the value of an element's attribute on a web page. So take it and drag and drop over here. Okay. Now I have to add a new I have to add new UI element so I I click on this and that's it. now this this like P paragraph so I want this so I click uh, I press press control left click UI element is captured. Done. Okay. So here it's very important. You can see here it's automatically here. This action automatically create a one variable that is here. This is the output variable. So here in this variable our output. Okay. So click on save. Okay, now done. Yes. Okay, but I want uh, this all details. I want uh, on this one message. So I one other video, one other action I I use like display message. So this one. Drag and drop over here. Okay. Like you want a title like this is your age. Is your age. Okay. This is the our title, nothing else. Uh, and what? Here I have to use our variable that uh output of uh, get uh, get details of our use this click double click on this and everything is perfect need to change 
and so click on save. Okay. I think it's done. So we test our flow. Run. Now you can see here everything going is perfect. Now it has captured the box, and now you can see here all data capture in the display message. Okay, so uh, one more activity I want like a close window. Okay, so I have. I go back for the flow here and action section and here I type close browser close browser this uh so Take it and draw, drag and drop over here. Okay. Now save. Okay. Now, first of all, I close this and let's click on run. You can see launch new boom. Yes. Captured on message box. Click OK and close window. OK. So our, our workflow is ready. Uh, so, all right. Thank you for your time. If the video was useful for you, so please like and subscribe our channel for more video i will see you in the next video on power automate so thank you for your time